Recently, a series of powerful explosions thundered near the only Russian air base in Syria. Presumably, Israel destroyed a batch of weapons that was going to be delivered from Iran to Hezbollah terrorists via the Russian base, writes Bild. Photos and videos taken from the nearby town of Jabla showed powerful explosions coming from the Khmimim base, located five kilometers away. Shortly after the series of explosions, Hezbollah members and Syrian journalists reported that the Israeli Air Force had attacked the Russian base. Israel has been trying to disrupt Hezbollah's arms supply through Syria for years with airstrikes. But the Russian military base has not been the target of these attacks until now. Russia, like Iran and Hezbollah, support Syrian ruler Bashar al-Assad. The Israeli attack targeted a warehouse inside the Russian Khmimim base. Israel bombed the base an hour after the Iranian Keshem Fars airplane arrived there, wrote Abdullah al-Musa, a journalist for the opposition Syrian television network Syria TV. In addition, one of the Turkish journalists told Bild that, according to his sources, the Iranian plane landed at the Russian base on October 2, and took off again, eight hours before the night attacks. The reason for the attacks was the cargo he was transporting under the guise of humanitarian aid for the Lebanese, added the build source. Other reports say the Iranian weapons were destroyed 700 meters from the Russian base where they were stored after being delivered by an Iranian plane. According to these reports, Russia was trying in vain to shoot down incoming Israeli missiles. Satellite images of an aircraft hangar at a key Israeli military air base taken after a massive barrage of Iranian missiles appear to show a large hole in the roof. Images of the Nevedim air base in southern Israel on Wednesday show the damage to the roof in a row of buildings near the main runway. Large pieces of debris can be seen spread around the building. It was not clear what caused the damage. Israel's military did not immediately respond to a request for comment about the satellite images. Nevedim is home to the Israeli Air Force's most advanced aircraft, including US-produced F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter jets. It is not clear from the satellite imagery whether any aircraft were in the hangar when it was struck. Nevedim also sustained light damage during an Iranian missile and drone attack in April. A few people southern Israel on Thursday were seen near the fragments of an Iranian missile that was intercepted by Israel near Arad. The Middle East moved closer to a long-feared regional war the day after Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel and Israel said it began limited ground incursions into Lebanon targeting the Iran-backed Hezbollah militia. Israel said it intercepted many of the missiles, and officials in Washington said U.S. destroyers assisted in Israel's defense. Iran said most of its missiles hit their targets. There were no immediate reports of casualties. On Tuesday night, Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel in what it said was a retaliation for attacks that killed leaders of Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Iranian military. It referenced Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and Revolutionary Guard General Abbas Nilforashin, both killed in an Israeli airstrike last week in Beirut. It also mentioned Ismail Haniyeh, a top leader in Hamas who was assassinated in Tehran in a suspected Israeli attack in July.